is when Michael shoots his 50%, and then Kukoc and Harper both come in with over 15 points. And Dennis Rodman has a big night rebounding somewhere between 15 and 20. And in that way, it takes the pressure off the bench to come in with big numbers. Because when you move Kukoc into that starting lineup, their bench production falls off. Plus, they've had Steve Kerr and Bill Wennington both miss 10 games in this early 22 games already for the season. So this has been a... And he said his, he has no feel in the shot, and the shots are flat. And uh, that's why he doesn't, you know, he's been handling a ball to try to get the feel back. And what he's done is changed his game a little bit. He is operating more in the paint as he did in college at North Carolina against smaller players. Got away from that because he had bigger teammates in the NBA. But he's gone back for a more inside game as of late while uh, the dislocated finger is bothering him. Well, Dick, you can see just in his three-point shooting. He's only attempted 31 threes during the course of the year, and he's only shooting 19%. We're talking about Michael Jordan, who before he retired, you know, was shooting at 34% back in the old days with the old line. Yep. A lot of people say, well, oh, maybe it's the line. It's definitely not the line. Eldon Campbell lays it in for the first points, and we understand that all clocks are operable right now and run away. Luke Longley loses the ball to Robert Ory. Now, there was a very soft full court trap and there's your first turnover and Nick Van Exel hits the three he is second to Wesley Person in the NBA in threes and in all of a sudden five nothing Lakers well you have to remember they force the turnovers get out in the open floor not so many layups you have to be careful because they are three point dangerous in their transition game eight seconds on the shot clock and Ron Harper gets the Chicago Bulls going after a score, the Lakers push the ball very, very fast, and then look back, ball reversal, anything can happen here. Eldon Campbell travels before the shot, no basket, and turns it over to the Bulls. Uh, this is the first meeting between these teams this year. They split last season. In fact, they have evenly divided their last 16 games, but Chicago has won the last two at home against L.A. Teams that have trapped the Bulls have given them problems, whether it's full quarter court, three quarter court, or half court trapping. Harper posting up against Nick Van Exel, and all of a sudden Robert Orley comes in the picture. Dennis Rodman misses a layup, gets his own rebound, and a new clock. That was a beautiful pass by Harper. Longley now is defended by Ori. Kukos will fire a three, and he'll hit. Tony Kukos at 48% leading the NBA in three-point percentage. Well, he's definitely in a groove. He's shooting 48 from the field and 48 in threes. Pretty consistent as uh, we have nearly two minutes gone by after a 19-minute delay because of a clock problem opening this game. Seven on the shot clock. Jordan guarding Eddie Jones gets a piece of it. Campbell with two on the shot clock. And uh, we will have... A foul on the arm as one second showing on the clock and Michael Jordan committing the foul. Well, Elvin Campbell has many facets to his game. He can shoot the jump shot facing the basket out to 18 or 20 feet and be successful. He can hook down inside. He's got the fade away and he can put the ball on the floor. You must pay attention to this guy. Starting his 14th game and uh, impressive numbers without Shaq. Had 22 last night against the Minnesota Timberwolves going 10 of 12 from the line. So when your center goes to the free throw line and double figures, you're getting it done. Well, that's why we brought up the point at the top of the show. They get to the line 32 attempts a night, and you say, well, what's the big deal? Well, first of all, it gives you easy points, and the other thing is it gets fouls on front court people on the other team equals substitutions. Lakers by two. A little more than two minutes have gone by in the opening quarter. Bulls coming in with a 14-9 record in the middle of the Central Division. Five on the shot clock. Jordan does not get a good pass from Longley. Has to fire it up and hit the three. Well, Longley will throw that one to him every time, right? Hey, so, so much for a bad finger. <laughs> All right. It was a line drive shot, I would have to say. Ori coming back, and he misses from beyond the arc. And Rodman with the rebound. Dennis Rodman back atop the rebounding lead in the NBA. Moving past Charles Barkley, who was in front. Longley working in against Eldon Campbell with a fall away, and he drops through. Longley, 
with his basket. Well, I like Longley's game this year. He's averaging right around 12 points a game, only three goals in double figures. He, Kukoc, and Michael Joy. He's, he's come up big whenever Kukoc was up and down at playing sporadic basketball early in the year. Eddie Jones with a good move against Jordan gets his own rebound. And inside Robert Orley finds Rick Fox. Fox has been an offensive demon as of late, but he misses from outside and a flurry of perimeter shots in the early minutes. Well, the Lakers attempt 19 threes a game, so you know they're going to take them any time that you blink. Michael Jordan with a fall away, and a loose ball comes out to Ron Harper. Two and a half minutes have gone by. Three and a half, actually, and a blocking foul called against Eddie Jones. Anytime you play the Lakers, if you can solve their half-court trapping, that stops them from getting out on the break. If you shoot and miss and crash the offensive board and keep the ball alive, you keep them out of fast-break basketball. Oh, nice play. Screen and roll. Luke Longley misses the layup. He was wide open underneath on a perfect pass from George. Now, Luke's got to send that down with a dunk. That was very soft. And Exel runs Harper into a screen, and a wild shot by Van Exel misses. Longley with the rebound, and here's Harper. Lakers are back defensively. Puto and Jordan with a fake. Yeah. Michael Jordan went around Robert Ory as if he were invisible. That was a beautiful move by Tony Kukoc because he could have forced the shot, finding Michael on that baseline. Off a screen, Rick Fox coming off a 30-point game in the last couple that the Lakers have played, and it looks like he's looking for 30 in the first quarter as he takes the shot over and the top turns it over to the Bulls. So the Lakers struggling early on, only 2 of 10 from the field. Now just keep an eye to the left of your screen. You're going to see Kukoc take the double team and drop it down inside. Beautiful ball fake by Michael. Five for Michael Jordan, and the Bulls lead 12-7. Kukoc from the corner. Eldon Campbell with a rebound. This Laker team will get it up in a hurry. Leading offensive team in the NBA, Eddie Jones from three, but he has Kukoc in his face. Ill-advised three-point attempt. Well, that's their game, and they're going to live by it. Uh, Van Exel and Jones both attempt five threes a game. So, you know, anytime you come down and you lay off, it's up. Double team on Harper. Longly outside pops, and that's what the Bulls center do, centers do the best. They move out for the 12 to 18 footer. Well, you have to pay attention there now if you're the Lakers and say, listen, our outside game, it could, I like this timeout by Del Harris. Our outside game is struggling. We're two for 11 in our last 11 shots. We're not getting any second shot attempts. It's all Bulls. They have missed their last nine from the field. You can see the 14-2 spurt there, uh, and it's all because of the fact that the Lakers are getting good looks. It's their type of game, so you cannot say that they're pressing or you can't say that they're forcing because that's how they play. So following the timeout, and you uh, deeming it a good timeout by Del Harris to stem an early tie. They go low now to uh, Eldon Campbell, guarded by Longley, and Dennis Rotman with a rebound. Right now, they are. neither team is double-teaming the post-up plug. They're both saying, you know what? You have to score up over the top of the defender. Bulls are 10-1 at home. Oh, lost only to the Washington Wizards on November the 12th. Problem they had, of course, has been on the road, as you mentioned. One on the shot clock. Harper gets it off just in time. And hit a three at the buzzer. Ron Harper, and that is the third three-point basket already for Chicago. And hit three for three. So it is now a 17-7 Bulls lead, taking the starts out of the Lakers, who are playing the second game in a five-game road trip. Eldon Campbell fights his way out, but muscled away by Longley. Yeah, and that's a good word, because he was definitely fouled. Uh, he was mugged on that shot. And if they're, they're going to allow that much contact in the low post, Campbell's going to have problems. Jordan with a rare air ball, but Kukoc on the other end with a quick pass to Longley, slapped away into the handle of Rick Fox. Lakers have missed their last 11 shots. It is knocked away by the Bulls. It is still Lakers' ball. Now, Dick, that was a beautiful move. That was a hesitation stutter dribble by Van Exel. No, no. Harper was faked out, but he recovered by reaching from the rear and getting that deflection. 
5.25 remaining in the first quarter, and Kobe Bryant is going to make his entry right now. Bryant coming off a season's high 27 Friday against Houston, and he topped that Sunday with a 30-point effort against the Dallas Mavericks. Rick Fox, struggling early, goes to the bench. And Kobe Bryant has been the top reserve scorer in the NBA and gaining was really rave notices at only age 19. Now, this is a tough matchup. You're going to see Ku coach, along with Michael Jordan, will be switching back and forth on a two and three. Campbell on the screen and roll in the basket. And a delay of the game warning called against uh, the Lakers. Yeah, the referees will leave you alone. If you dunk the ball hard, everything is fine. But as soon as you tap it away from uh, the inbounder, then they'll call delay a game. 21% shooting by the Lakers, who had missed 11 in a row before that slam by Eldon Campbell. Great move by Jordan, and he scores. That was a classic Michael Jordan move going around. He's got seven. That was priceless. Absolutely priceless because he was triple teamed. Here is the screen and roll, and it rolls off. Speaking of roll by Eldon Campbell, he's slow getting back. The Bulls showing a lot more energy than the younger, swifter Lakers in the early going. 19-9, Chicago. Jordan, great move inside, and Michael Jordan teaching Eddie Jones a few things out there. Now, Eddie Jones is an excellent defender, but you saw Michael gave him the entire repertoire. The head fake, the ball fake, and a step through. Dan Exel with a pretty nifty move himself, tipped up and off by Robert Ory. And I think with Kobe Bryant in town, I think Michael Jordan had enough of an incentive. Forget about Lakers Bulls. Two coach, or I should say Longley, from the corner wide open, and the Bulls out big 23 to 9. And finally, Nick Van Exel with a lay in. You can see right now, the Lakers, as much as they're struggling, anytime Chicago scores, they're pushing the ball quickly, and they are getting a shot off within three to four seconds. And Jordan is fouled by Eddie Jones. Lakers very impressive at getting it up after made baskets, but what a show early by Michael Jordan. Now you're going to see here, Michael got double team right there, and he comes back and he puts it up with his left hand. And now just watch Michael. He gives you the head fake, ball fake, and as he comes through here, now there's your ball fake, step through. And because that step creates such a distance to the defender, he's up and in easy. Jordan leading the NBA in scoring at over 26 points a game. Eddie Jones picking up his second personal foul. Substitutions uh, coming in. Corey Blunt, a former Chicago Bull who played three years with the Bulls and has done the job off the glass for the Lakers has come in. Rick Fox re-enters the game and Kobe Bryant in there now along with Eldon Campbell and Nick Van Exel. Jordan with the free throws has 11 and the Bulls lead by 14. Main thing for the Lakers right now, just keep sticking with your main offense. Work, work through the inside game first, and then everything else will come a lot easier. Campbell, and again, Longley doing a good job bodying Eldon Campbell, and a technical yeah. foul well, can call against Dell Harris, maybe well, by design. Yeah, and no, not by design. Yeah, he, he's hot. He's really hot. And I agree with him 100%, because Campbell was just mugged again. Now, he, in his last three offensive moves, he's been fouled on all three, and there's no way that you can work your offense when you work through your pivot people if they're going to allow all that contact to happen. Campbell, in each attempt, has gone to the referee on the baseline and said, I've been fouled. Where is the call? Now, you're going to see as they drop it in down here, Luke Longley, as he goes to the baseline, is going to get him a drop step right. You see, there it is. There. He, he, he didn't get fouled. He got he got hammered. And Dukos has it knocked away, and it is still Chicago ball. So certainly not by design did Dell get that technical. Well, I tell you, Dick, I think that's uh, the most overrated thing. Guys say, hey, I took that one because I wanted to change the momentum of the team. Most guys, when they get a technical foul call on them, are shocked. Here's Kukoc, and Rodman uh, does not give him a good pass going to the basket, so a turnover by the Bulls, who lead 25-11. to 11. The Bulls have yet to make a substitution in this game. The Lakers have made several with 3-20 remaining in the first. See, right now, since Campbell can't get a call, you've got to go to other stuff. Your continuity, your down screens, your double screens, etc. And what about Van Exel? That's the second time he's been able to lay it in unmolested. Well, see, Longley does not want to leave Campbell because he left Campbell twice at two dunks. 
Under three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Kukoc gets it into Jordan. Jordan already with 11 with a turnaround. And that time, Kobe Bryant did a good job on him. And a loose ball foul is the call against Dennis Rodman. For Rodman, his first. Now, Dennis is working very hard here this evening. And he, you have him averaging five offensive rebounds a game for the season. And you know Dennis is one of the best. Now, this is just a great move by Van Exel. See, Longley fakes, but once you make that commitment, you've got to go. Make him pass and then rotate back. I'd like to show you a screen and roll with Van Exel with the ball and a screen by Campbell. Now, watch as he comes off the screen. You'll see Luke Longley step out. Beautiful pass. And then Campbell just takes it down strong. And as a matter of fact, he even got hit on that shot. That should have been a three-point play. So when, when you look at the Los Angeles Lakers coaching staff, they have a right to be upset right now. The referee has definitely been a little inconsistent. Derek Fisher has come in for Nick Van Exel as Rick Fox misses a spin in the lane. Van Exel, the only one who is shooting. Two of them lay up three of five. The rest of the Lakers are two of 16 from the field. They are ice cold and trail by 12. The these Bulls still have not gone to the bench. Tony Kukoc with a baseline move and a three on two break for the Lakers. Kobe Bryant against Michael Jordan. Oh! And the rebound is taken away by Corey Blunt. And Rick Fox misses and the Lakers not only missing from outside, they are not able to connect from under the basket. Rick Fox 0 for 5 as Luke Longley commits the personal foul. Now this is just a, a you know, high percentage shot. He just leaves it short. And now you're going to see the banging in here. Great steal by Blunt. Took it away, but he misses the follow-up. As Fox goes up, he muscles it up there, but he leaves it short. Kobe Bryant shooting and hitting with Michael Jordan in his face. So Bryant getting his first points of the game. Remember, he only plays 26 minutes. He gets off 13 shots. He's shooting 42% but he's definitely a highlight film. And we saw three of those highlights a week ago against the Golden State Warriors, and Kobe Bryant at 19 goes for the fake and fouls Michael Jordan. Now keep this right here. This is a beautiful screen. See, he leveled Michael off right there. Michael did not get his hand up. And if you don't get your hand up, you're neutralizing your size. Now right here, you're going to see this is a good ball fake by Michael. Gets him up in the air. Now take your time and hope that you can shoot through it. Jordan coming off a 31-point effort against the Phoenix Suns on Monday. As the Bulls starting to come alive, playing their best ball as of late. They beat the Toronto Raptors by 27. Their widest margin of victory in their previous game. So they feel they're getting it together now. Jordan with 13 points and a 12-point Bulls lead. Well, Dick, any time that you take care of the defensive boards and you hold people down in shooting, oh, 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 there it is. Couldn't hold him down. And Kobe Bryant. That was a backdoor move by the numbers. Hit the post, backdoor the guy from the wing. A little rumbling here at the United Center over that move by Kobe Bryant. Again, 19 years old at a low Marion High School in Philadelphia in the second year. Harper gets his own rebound on the miss as we get close to one minute remaining in the first quarter. Oh, you got to go inside. Luke's got to go down low. You got Fox on you now. No double team. And here he goes in, and that's what happened. He took advantage. The Bulls taking advantage of the mismatch. Leading 29 to 17, under a minute remaining in the first quarter. Luke Longley has eight. That is second to Michael Jordan's 13. Here is Derek Fisher using a screen, and Rodman gets the rebound. That's eight for Michael or Dennis Rodman off the board. Now you can look at this, Dick, and say, hey, this is playoff contact being allowed here tonight. Or you can look at this and say, hey, the Lakers have got to grow up here now and say, you know what, this game's going to be physical, so you've got to raise your level, you know, to this type of competition. Rick Fox stepped on the line, and let's take a look again at Kobe Bryant. There's a backdoor move. They catch him right there, turning his head. Caught Michael turning his head. He thought he could regroup, but any time that a young guy goes airborne, that ball. Now, this is an offensive foul by Longley, and you can say, well, he flopped. Well, I want to tell you, Longley is 7'2", 295, and when he gets into your chest like that, you're only 6'6", six six, Rick Fox. You don't have to be an actor to go down as Rick Fox did. 
as the Bulls make their first substitutions of the game, Steve Kerr and Judd Bushler come into the game. Sean Rooks, who has been effective off the bench as a rebounder, has come in for the Lakers. Two on the shot clock. Jordan's going to have to take the shot. He does at the buzzer. No, he didn't. He didn't get it off in time. And with 20.1 on the clock, the Lakers can play for the last shot. But they're down by 12, and they have been outplayed in the first quarter here. Right now, Michael looks extra quick. He really does. Now, we know that last night the Lakers won a good game on the road in Minnesota last night, flew down here, but they were in the hotel before 1 a.m., so everything was fine. They worked out not here, uh, but they worked out in the hotel with their scouting report for tonight's game. And, of course, this is a big game, the second of the five-game road trip, and you're playing the world champs. They're one four. With Kerr out on the top, guarding Fisher. Seven on the shot clock. You see the clock. Fisher penetrating inside. Derek Fisher with the basket and the foul. Derek Fisher, the backup point guard, delivers in his second year from Arkansas Little Rock. Well, they love him. The coaching staff loves this guy. This guy's a tough dude. He was a player of the year uh, in his conference at Little Rock. And I'll just watch the hit. There's the first hit. There's the second hit. And he put it off the boards. Anytime you come down in that paint, it's so much easier if you put the ball off the glass. And a three-point play by Fisher. 4.6 seconds remain. And the pass to Ron Harper. He's got Kukoc. Kukoc gets it off. And he's fouled. And let's see if it was beyond the arc. And it'll be a two-shot foul. Tony Kukoc with 1.6 will go to the line as Corey Blunt committing the personal foul. Your coach in the Lakers, Dick, you're exasperated. You're not happy with the way the game is being called. You don't like all the physical contact. But then again, your guys are fouling jump shooters. That's the third jump shooter that has been fouled. And you're saying, why are you doing that? Give me a time that you blocked a jump shot 18 to 20 feet from the basket. This is the mentality that Michael Jordan said teams have to learn before they can win a championship. Missed free throw and Longley tips it in. And that is the end of the quarter. So it ends up the way it started with the Chicago Bulls. Michael Jordan, 13. Luke Longley, 10. As the Bulls, with 57% shooting from the field, lead the Los Angeles Lakers 32-20 after one. Harper, loose ball, two coach to Harper inside. And an acrobatic move by Ron Harper, who has seven points to start the second quarter. Anytime you have court trap, your guys are rotating. When the shot goes up, everybody must rebound. Sean Rooks playing center, and he's been good. He's a third stringer, plays maybe better than a lot of backups in the NBA at center. Kobe Bryant hitting a three from outside. He's got seven points and already a spectacular inside move. Well, that's part of his game, Dick. He attempts three. He hit that one. He's now 22 for 62. He's shooting about 35%. Tony Kukoc driving in. And a rebound by Kobe Bryant. Lakers with Kobe Bryant and Derek Fisher, along with Eddie Jones, Robert Ory, and Sean Rook. The ball out of bounds. Last touch by the Lakers. So the Bulls have Ron Harper out there with Randy Brown and Scott Burrell up front along with Longley and Tony Kukoc. Longley had 10 in the first quarter. And Kukoc puts it up, but a foul away from the basket on the Lakers. Well, you see, that was a silly foul by Rooks. Because you know that the guy at the top of the circle in the triangle, when they throw into the post, is just going to move over to the wing. And that's all he was doing, and Rooks just smacked Kukoc. Bulls up by as many as 14, leading by 11 here, early in the second. Here's Burrell trying to post up against Eddie Jones, and he burns it. Good move by Scott Burrell as the Jones try to deny. And the score now 36 to 23. Bulls very sharp in this first half. I want to send a message to the Lakers that it's uh, not your time yet. We'll meet again February 1st at the Forum. 
Fisher inside. Fall away by Kobe Bryant. Is there anything he can't do anywhere on the floor? Yeah, that, that was such a difficult shot because he was moving. He caught it and threw a fadeaway without a dribble. Ron Harper is fouled, and they're going to call it on Eddie Jones. That may be his third. And instead, they say it is Kobe Bryant, his second. Now, he, see, he made that catch, and he was moving from the opposite corner to make that catch fade away, be behind the board, come out in the air, and knock it down. Not that, facing the basket. That's right, that's that, 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 that was really a great move. I have a hunch we're going to see a lot more from Kobe Bryant before he's through. Oh, you, you really went out on a limb. <laughs> you really went out there, didn't you? I thought about that before I made that statement for a long time. <laughs> Four on the shot clock, Longley over Rooks, and Luke Longley with 12 points, coming off a sprained ankle, did not play in the last game, but Longley, six of eight from the field for the Bulls, who are up by 13. That's why at the top of the show we made an issue of bringing out that Luke Longley is averaging right at 12 points a game. And you can see he's playing with a lot of confidence, and as a matter of fact, Rooks caught him right on the uh, wrist that time when he released that shot. But he feels that he can score. He's got a nice baby hook shot. He's got that fadeaway. And remember now, he's 7-2, long arms. Eldon Campbell checks in for Sean Rooks. And Nick Van Exel is in as well. So the starting backcourt tandem of Eddie Jones and Nick Van Exel with the ball in there now for the Lakers. The best shooting three-point tandem in the NBA, easily. Luke pass in. Harper fouling. Kobe Bryant. He tried to front him, but he uh, shoved him away, and Kobe is fouled. Yeah, Bryant just did a, a change of direction from the top of the circle. He's being overplayed by Harper, and when he went right down the middle, keep an eye to the right of your screen. You're going to see him come flying right into your picture, right there. Uh, but Harper's doing a nice job on it. Bryant shooting over Harper, misses. And the bull with Tony Kukoc bringing it up. Kukoc getting a chance to start now with Pippen out of there. He is... Uh, Started 19-18 uh, now, exactly. Longley with an old-fashioned hook shot. Here comes Van Exel pushing it up. Bulls back defensively, however. Under eight and a half to play, and there's the loop in, and that was a pass. That was a pass. That was a pass. <laughs> I did. That, that was just a quick bit. He was looking for a quick, quick lob. To Ori, yeah. Right to Ori, right? And they're, and they're playing like it was a shot. 11-point deficit now. Lakers behind. Oh, take him down. Who take goes down. against Van Exel? Has the big edge. He knows it and scores against them. But the Bulls have taken advantage of their mismatches nearly every time down. They're seeing them and they're doing it, Dick. You're absolutely right. 40 to 27, and there is Eddie Jones slicing in for the basket. Eddie Jones coming off a 32-point effort against Minnesota. The November Player of the Month in the NBA, but on the other end, Kuko, wide open, end to end. We're seeing spectacular basketball from both sides. We're talking about the Laker quickness after a score, but the Bulls are also showing it to you. They've definitely upbeat this year more than at any other time. Now, just keep in mind, there it is. That was a lob pass, and the thing went right through the hole. Beautiful. And on the turnover, the give and go, Randy Brown to Longley from Kuko. That is a textbook play by the Bulls. Yeah, they caught them rotating. Beautiful movement. When your man leaves you to help on a guy, you go to the front of the rim. Timeout called by Del Harris. Excellent ball movement. Total unselfish play. Now there's your guard around situation. Now once Campbell moved, Longley stepped right up. Beautiful pass. And the biggest lead of the game for the Chicago Bulls. We'll be right back. Triangle offense right here. But if they don't go to the corner or the post, you'll see Kukoc flash, and the pass will come to the high post. Brown will come around and go to the basket. We call that a guard around play. I see now right here, you'll see Campbell leave to take up there, and Luke Longley will step right to the rim, and you just have total unselfish play. What happened to give and go? That but, went out. No, no, that, uh, no, that was a guard around. Give and go was for you when you played with your white tennis sneakers and your black socks and your little cut-off denims that I, your mommy had. I'm glad I asked you. <laughs> Down at the playground. Remember the last time I asked you? That was it. <laughs> Michael Jordan has been on the bench for five minutes, and the Bulls have increased their lead by three. Jordan getting a rest because this unit has done the job. Randy Brown and Ron Harper in the backcourt. Burrell 
along with Kukoc and Longley, and the 24-second clock expires, and the woes continue for the men in purple and gold. Yeah, they just cannot establish their inside game. Campbell was all upset again. He's on the verge of a technical, okay? And, and like I've been saying all along, he has a right to be. Kobe Bryant, Robert Ory, Eddie Jones, Nick Van Exel, and Eldon Campbell on defense against the Bulls, who lead 44 to 29, and a foul called against uh, the Lakers. Yeah, they catch Bryant holding on to Brown as he was cutting right down in the lane. Right now, the Chicago Bulls, with this unit on the floor, are not running so much triangle. They're running a lot of what we call an open set. There's a lot of movement and a lot of passing. Kobe Bryant goes out with three personal fouls, and as he does, Michael Jordan comes back in. Rick Fox had replaced Kobe Bryant, who scored nine points while he was in there. Good ball movement by the Bulls, and it's reflected in 13 assists so far in this game, with Kukoc getting five and Randy Brown three off the bench. He stays in there with Jordan. Here is Burrell firing over Rick Fox. Kukoc longly gets the loose ball. And there is Tony from three. And Fox going after it. And this time the foul is called against the Bulls. With 626 remaining in the first half. That'll be the second on Luke Long. Yeah, it's about time. He was up over the top of the back there. But you see, this is one of the strengths of the Bulls. They shoot a low percentage, but they get 16 offensive rebounds, so they get more second shots. 20 point edge in the shooting percentage of this game as Ori misses from outside. And Ori tries to save it and does nicely. Plenty of time on the shot clock for the Lakers. No need for them to rush. Van Exel spinning his way in. Ball spins away but Longley knocks it out of bounds and it is still Lakers ball. Lakers just need a little power surge here. Some tough defense. Get yourself a couple of quick baskets and you're right back in this thing. The energy's there. The ball will just not fall. Six minutes remaining in the second quarter. Plenty of time, as you point out, Hubie. But the Lakers have scored only 29 points. They come in as the leading scoring team in the league. Randy Brown with a steal on the screen and roll pass from Van Exel. Brown goes around Van Exel. But the Bulls come up empty. That was a strong move. Van Exel will hit and miss from three. And once again, the Lakers getting it up there in a hurry. They're patient, you pointed out. They can get back in this game. Here is Jordan for three. And Scott Burrell with the offensive rebound gets his own rebound again. It's blocked inside, and here's Van Exel ahead to Eddie Jones. Randy Brown defending, and an offensive foul is the call against Jones, and that may be his third. Now that, that it was is. a great, great defensive play by Randy Brown. He cut off Eddie Jones, and Eddie Jones elevated. He was not going to be denied. Now just keep an eye on this. Now watch Randy come, see, right, he's coming right into your screen. Now he takes that one, and if you notice, he protected himself by bringing his both arms up so that when Jones caught him, he came right into those two forearms. So Eddie Jones has to go out of the game with three, and John Barry, who is uh, used sparingly by the Lakers, but a good extra guard to have on your team, former Atlanta Hawks checks in. Well, they like him because he comes in shooting and he can score. Duco slapped away by Ori. Randy Brown playing inspired defense since uh, he has come in in the second quarter. And uh, offensively, he's coming off a season's high of 14 points in Monday's victory against Phoenix. Well, the Bulls bench coming alive. Here is Michael Jordan finally over Ori Hicks. Michael Jordan gets his first points of the second quarter, 15 in the game. Longley second with 14. Michael is quick. Everything about him is quick. He's prime, no question about it. As he is definitely inspired by facing the Lakers. Working against Rodman is Eldon Campbell with a fine baseline spin. See, he's got it all. He, he really does. See, he's got a nice hook. He's got a nice fadeaway jump shot. But then he has the up and under plus the power drop step move. Rodman playing the center position right now for the Bulls. Relatively smaller team out on the court. That's why you have to go through Campbell at the other end of the floor. Take advantage of the height uh, disadvantage that uh, Rodman has. Rodman's 
Popped away by Rick Fox, and this will be an easy layup at the other end. So the ball was knocked away from Michael Jordan, and Rick Fox, struggling early, has two points in the game. 13-point lead. It was 17, and Phil Jackson and the Bulls call a timeout with 3.57 remaining in the first half, a 13-point bull lead. Now there's a nice strip by Fox and getting the ball out. Now, we, we're saying here this evening, the Lakers cannot get anything going in their half-court game. They're struggling in their three-point shooting, but the opportunities are there. Steve Kerr, three-point uh, shooting expert, has checked into the game. So a three-guard offense in effect. Bill Wennington making his first appearance. See, they start out with a little motion, a little weave, and then they come right back into the triangle. Wennington deflected by Eldon Campbell. The follow-up by Jordan misses, and here's Rick Fox with three and a half to go in the first half. Now, in this first half, the Lakers are really struggling with their threes. They're only two for eight. 13-point lead. Nick Van Exel for three, and way off the mark. Van Exel struggling from three-point range in the early going. Now, Steve Kerr is out with a bruised kneecap. He's missed 10 games. And Bill Weddington also uh, was injured. He had a tendonitis in the right elbow. Came off the uh, injured list this sixth game. So the injured getting healthy. Weddington blocked again by Campbell, and the 24-second clock expires. So Weddington can't get much elevation, and Campbell has been right in his face twice. Two key subs during the championship years have been Weddington and Kirk because they come in, they keep the center honest because Wennington takes them high, and then Steve Kerr just spots off for everything of penetration of Jordan, and then the forgotten man, Scotty Pippen. Maybe not forgotten, but not for long. Not for long. Eldon Campbell, basket and a foul. So far, the Bulls have kept the Lakers at bay. The Lakers had 20 points in the first half, only 15 so far in the second quarter. I think. Well, you can see. I mean, this guy's giving you a lot of different moves. I see he comes in, and it, oh, he just he, he he really nailed Wennington with that right elbow. Caught Wennington right in the ribs. Eldon Campbell with a three-point play, and it is now a 10-point game. The Lakers have scored seven straight points. The thing right now, you know, you, you can't have 107 points a game in a 10-point differential if you don't play hard for 48 minutes. Jordan with a move to the baseline and a foul against Rick Fox. Jordan will go to the free throw line and Fox with his first foul. That is the fourth team foul against uh, the Lakers. Bulls also have four. Join host Vince Cellini and Cheryl Miller at the conclusion of the first half of the Nike Halftime Report. Scores and highlights from the night as well as any other news from around the league coming up on the Nike Halftime Report. Michael Jordan. There is uh, Eddie Jones and Kobe Bryant on the bench discussing things. Uh, Jones with three and Bryant with three personals. You can see some imposing stats there by Michael. During the course of the season, Michael gets to the line nine foul shot attempts a game. But throughout his career, an 84% free throw shooter. This year, only 76%. Six of seven tonight at the line, so uh, he has been sharp on the stripe en route to his 17 points. John Barry is fouled by Steve Kerr. That is his second and the 15th foul against the bull you have to pay attention to John Barry because he comes in he loves to shoot threes they give him the green light he can put the ball on the floor and take it to the basket plus he's an excellent passer in traffic Bill Harris likes his talent and they're, they're looking down the road at him because they'd like him to be able to play the point guard also as you can see playing a little more than eight minutes a game in a team loaded with the backboard players well, they're happy with Van Exel and then Derek Fisher as the backup at the point. But in case of an injury, you always want to have that third guy. Lead is down to 10 once again as the Lakers trap. Here's Dennis Rodman with a pass to Wennington. And Wennington is fouled. Eldon Campbell upset with that uh, 
call. He thought he had the ball instead of the man and Campbell picking up his first and well, both teams at five fouls. Dick, the ball movement by the Bulls was excellent, and this is just a strong move, and that's the way to take it to the basket. Take it with two hands, send it down strong. Campbell, an excellent shot blocker. He gets two a game, definitely hit him on that shot. Well, it's interesting, Hubie, despite the 10-1 and one record here at home, Bill Jackson didn't think that the Bulls were playing that well, even though they were winning at home. So for the first time, he held a practice yesterday at the United Center. Normally they are out at Deerfield, but they were at the United Center practicing on this court yesterday. Dick, they're shooting 43% from the field. That's 23rd in the league. 30% in threes and only 68% on the line. Jordan is fouled. And talk about the free throw shooting. They are 27 out of 29 teams in the NBA on free throw. Yeah, so he, he's bringing him in here and saying, look, uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you that my triangle offense is not working. What I'm telling you is, is that we're getting you good shots and you players are missing the shots, plus you are missing the foul shots. Jordan makes the first free throw. Michael Jordan this season versus his career. Well, you can see he's six points down from his career, but how about the field goal percentage? He's nine down from his career average. The field goal attempts are the same, so it's not that. So it's the foul shooting is down, and then his field goal percentage is down. Tonight so far, Michael Jordan, 19 points, 8 of 9 from the line. He's already gone to the line nine times, and we have 148 remaining in the first half. Campbell, turnaround over Wennington. Ori tips it out. Eldon Campbell again with a short baseline shot. And Dennis Rodman with his 10th rebound of the game. Again, the Lakers with opportunities inside. Jordan off the rim. And out of bounds, it'll be Lakers ball with 129 on the clock. Now, we might have seen a first, because that is his second air ball. Tell Marty Aronoff, come on, we need a, a stat here. Jordan, that's his air second ball? air ball in a half. Well, that's first not an air I, Jordan. I've ever seen it. Okay. That's why they call him Air Jordan. No, that's Air Jordan. Oh, okay. That's that's I wasn't Jordan. sure exactly what. He just came in from the mezzanine oh, okay. to get that rebound. That was an air ball. Thought it might have skimmed off the front rim, which I'll always give him the benefit of the doubt, as you know. George working against Fox. Ten on the shot clock, getting down to a minute to go and a half. Wennington hopping over Ori hit. Bill Wennington, that's what he does best, and he gives the Bulls a 53-38 lead. Yeah, see, he takes your center away from the basket, and he, he he's uh, usually a high percentage shooter. He just has to get back in shape. Same thing with Kern. Well, the Bulls again up by 15 points with under a minute remaining. And 10 on the shot clock for the Lakers. Got it down to 10. And now it again a 15-point lead. Double team on Ori with one second. And the clock runs out before Campbell could get up and lay it in. That's the kind of half it has been. It's Bad been clock manager. Yet and very frustrating for Del Harris, for Elton Campbell, and for Ori. Ori did a great thing. Anytime you're double team, take the guys away from the basket. He did, and he opened up the area. For Eldon Campbell. Unfortunately, he didn't throw a lob to the front of the ring. So the Lakers woes with 35% shooting from the field and seven turnovers. You do that against the defending world champs on their floor, you're going to be behind by double digits. Jordan is fouled, and that'll be Rick Fox with his second, and Michael again will go to the line. So he'll be at the stripes doubled digits in the first half. Well, you know he's at the top of his game anytime that he gets over 10 foul shot attempts. He's making things happen tonight. I, I'm, I'm just uh, impressed with his quickness because we had him earlier this season where he was nowhere uh, as quick as he is this season. Revved up going against the Laker team. Lakers getting a lot of play in the NBA as a team that could possibly unseat the Bulls who have been playing without Pippen. Lakers without Shaq. And I think... Uh, the Bulls will have something to say, and they're saying something already in this game, leading 55-38, matching their biggest margin. Playing for the final shot for all intents and purposes of this first half. Nick Van Exel guarded by Randy Brown. Five on the clock. Kerr not giving Barry any kind of a look, and fouls him, and that'll be three... Free throws coming up, and Kerr is upset with himself. Uh, yeah, Barry, when he came up down from the middle of the lane, you know, they set that up. They set a screen for him. He came right up the middle of the lane. He was looking for the three uh, right from the catch. 
And then it, as he went with the ball fake, he catches Kerr up. Kerr catches him with his hip, hip to hip there. Third personal foul on Steve Kerr. The Lakers uh, have been without Eddie Jones, their leading scorer, with Shaq out of action. He has three, and Kobe Bryant, who scored nine points in spectacular fashion off the bench, also with three. Judd Bushler coming in for the final 4.5, and uh, Bill Wennington lead. Right now, what the Bulls are doing is they're going with all their three-point guys, and then they'll have Rodman as, as the inbound. But they'll push quickly, and they're looking for you to get in a tough matchup. They got 4.5 seconds. There's plenty of time. Here's Michael Jordan. He's got the catch, and he's got Bushler for the layup underneath as the Lakers fall asleep defensively. 1.9 remaining. Rick Fox fires it up and misses as the Chicago Bulls hold the top-scoring team in the NBA to only 41 points as the Bulls starters seeing a lot of action have 50 with Michael Jordan leading the way with 21. Now, now just watch the uh, three shirts go right for Michael and leave Bushler underneath wide open. And that is the end of the first half here at the United Center where the Chicago Bulls all over the L.A. Lakers to the tune of 57 to 41. As for the Bulls, Michael with 21, Luke Longley with 14, Tony Kukoc 8, Ron Harper 7. A lot more, it looks like, than three men in double figures when this one is over for Chicago. Dick, uh, very astute observation there. And then also, let's see if Ori and Fox will come to life. Right now, they are one for nine from the floor, and they are getting hammered on their defensive glass. They cannot block the people off the board. So we get underway in the second half. Luke Longley with the Tony Kukoc and Dennis Rodman up front in the backcourt. Michael Jordan and Ron Harper. All a present tonight by the Lakers. Very soft and no hard traps on the pass. Rodman to Longley who lays it in. Again, great ball movement by the Bulls. And it is interesting because everyone underestimates the passing ability of Dennis Rodman. Very intelligent player and when he makes the pass, he puts it right on the money. Eddie Jones playing with three fouls, misses a three. It's two coach the rebound, so it's Jones. An excellent guard, and up front, Elgin Campbell, the center, with Rick Fox and Robert Ory, the forward. If you're going to come out trapping early, you've got to make it happen. You've got to get the turnovers. You can't give them this. And a good defensive play. Ory slaps the ball away from Luke Longley. Lakers trying to make a run. They have made one run. They were down by 17, cut it to 10, before the Bulls open it up again in the second quarter. Elgin Campbell, baseline slam, and 13 now for the Lakers center. Well, Fox could have forced that shot. I like the way he gave it up. Campbell sent it down strong. They're in like a 2-2-1, three-quarter court trap, but it's soft. Now, once you get it over, they match up man-to-man. -man. And against the veteran team with older legs, you want to make them work more, and that's what the Lakers are trying to do. Luke Longley, however, pops out and has another basket. He has two boots here in the third quarter. Fox started by Kukoc with 10 on the shot clock. Again, it's Eldon Campbell, and he's put. Well, you know, if I'm Luke Longley, I, you know what I like? He's complaining. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, I mean, he almost put that forearm right through his back. I keep an eye down inside. I just watch the forearm go right into Elton Campbell. I just watch it. Once he goes by, as he steps up, bam. <laughs> so that'll be three personals on Luke Longley. With uh, less than two minutes gone by here in the second half. Dick Stockton, Hubie Brown, Brian Burwell with you. Eldon Campbell with his second basket of this third quarter. See, Dick, keep going to Campbell. Try to get Longley on that fourth and get him out of there because they become smaller when they go to Winnington. And when you trap, it's a cumulative effect if you're going to wear a team down. You may not get the turnover right away, but you could wear down a veteran team. Here's Rod Harper missing a three. Campbell slaps it down. Loose ball, and Harper winds up with it, and Van Exel saves a basket. It was going to go to Longley for the lay-in, but Nick Van Exel was alert. 
up until this point, the Lakers are half a step behind all night. Uh, Chicago's been extremely quick getting most of the loose balls. Here's Lawley guarded by Campbell out to Harper. Here's Jordan around the screen. Michael Jordan misses his first shot of the second half, but Dennis Rodman saves it. That is 11 rebounds for Dennis, and yet another offensive rebound by the Bulls. Great pass, Jordan from Pukoc, and the Bulls extend their lead. Yeah, they're going for a 20-second timeout right now. Good call by Dell. And what's the main reason for the timeout? Two second shot opportunities. The Bulls score on both of them. They're getting out-hustled right now. You don't see that enthusiasm. They've, like, taken the heart out of them. But as a coach, what you're trying to do is to get them going. Nice pass here by Kuko. It's a great pass and a beautiful finish by Michael. Kukoc with seven assists, and he is playing the all-round game that the Bulls want from him. He's gotten enough rebounds in the game and has scored. He has three rebounds. So Tony Kukoc, who always said he wanted to start, doesn't, of course, with Pippen, but getting his opportunity and making the most of it now. Well, Dick, you're looking at a guy who's playing 31 minutes. He's first on the team in field goal percentage at 48%. No one else over 45. He first in threes at three-point percentage at 48 and he leads the team in assists at 4.4 assists a game. And when that man comes off in January from the injured list, Kukoc will be again the valuable sixth man that the Bulls have used to win a flurry of titles. 63 to 45, the Bulls lead. Rick Fox with a great feed inside to Campbell. And out of bounds, traveling is the call against Eldon Campbell. Right now, once again, we underline Ori and Fox. They've got to get involved here offensively and do a better job on the defensive board. And here's Kukoc again. Tony Kukoc with 10 points. And speaking of Ori and Fox, they have a combined two points between them. One for nine shooting. Three and a half minutes have elapsed here in the third quarter. Crowds are sitting back enjoying this one as the Lakers have never really challenged the Bulls in this one as Van Exel fires up an air ball. Rodman goes back to Kuko. Bulls are making it look easy so far in this game. Michael Jordan with a spin move in the lane. He's got 25. And they're in cruise control right now. They're playing with a terrific amount of confidence. Everything is their tempo. Robert Ory misses a three-point attempt. And the rebound by Tony Kuko. The Chicago Bulls trying to extend their winning streak to three games and a Bulls foul underneath. Now, you know when Luke Longley outruns you, you know that you're in a lot of trouble here. Now, keep an eye on Dennis as he picks it back and then Kuko gets it over to Michael. Now, Michael will come down in here, come back out with a beautiful spin move. It is a Laker foul, and it is on Eldon Campbell, his second. Michael Jordan... Despite the dislocated index finger which affected his shooting, a lot of players would like to be affected by <laughs> the finger the way it's affected Michael Jordan tonight. He has 25 points, and he is a 7 of 14 from the line. Kobe Bryant has come back in the game for the Lakers. He, too, playing with the burden of three personal fouls. So Jones and Bryant, and what is Del Harris going to wait for? Might as well get him in. Oh, absolutely. Get him in the game, and don't worry about the fouls. It doesn't make a bit of difference. You're getting hammered here this evening, mainly because your front court people can't get anything done, and you can't take care of the board. So they're going small. Sean Rooks. And finally, Eddie Jones lines up with it. A 24-point lead by the Chicago Bulls. Unexpected uh, route by the Bulls to this point. Eddie Jones misses, and Sean Rooks follows. Well, Sean Rooks throughout his career, you know, averages right at 10 points a game. He's very deceiving. He can shoot a high percentage. He does not have quick feet. So anytime he picks you up down inside, just take him strong to the rim. Tony Kukoc misses from three, and a rebound by Ori. Not a bad third center to have on your team. Absolutely not. Dick. Plus, he can play a power forward for you, and you can play two big guys if, when you get to playoff time in the matchups are there. Kobe Bryant is guarded by Michael Jordan, and the fall away by Kobe Bryant. That's 
the future, and even Michael Jordan will tell you that Kobe Bryant, the future of the NBA, you're looking at the present and the future right there. It is 69 to 49, a 20 point Bulls lead. Michael was all over him that time, right in the state. And Jordan with a move to the basket. We got a little show going on here between number 23 and number 8. You kind of feel it, don't you? Yeah, you do. <laughs> and the crowd does as well. You know, Kobe Bryant's 19 at a same age. Michael Jordan was a sophomore at the University of North Carolina. And Bryant missing from outside, and the rebound by Dennis Rodman. Rodman has been a workhorse tonight, doing a terrific job. Jordan working against Bryant, double team on Michael. Again, they double him. Four on the shot clock. Here is Rodman with one, gets it off, air ball, and it'll go over to the Lakers. 71 to 49. Lakers never really in this game. They took a 5-0 lead, and that was it for them. Kobe Bryant fouled by Jordan, and he'll go to the line. This replay of Kobe, you see he's coming off a baseline screen. And then, now watch Michael. My, Michael's right on him now. Now this is just a quick move. Michael's right up in his face. Nothing but net. At the other end, Michael says, look, I'm turning on him and I'm taking him. Head fake, take him strong. And a timeout with 5.29 remaining in the third. To the free throw line. Scoring 27 against Houston Friday. He was scoreless with two and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter and scored all 27 points in under 13 minutes. Well, he packed that up, Dick, in the next game with 14 in the fourth period. See, there, there's more to this young man's game than just scoring because in 26 minutes a game, he gives you four rebounds as well as three assists, and he gets you one and a half steals a game. He gives you stats that a lot of starters give you in 32 to 34 minutes. There's the comparison between Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan thus far. And of course, remember, Kobe comes off the bench. One out of two from the line. It's a 21-point Chicago lead. Well, they're going to their quickness right now. And, you know, they had their trap. Once they give you the one trap, then they match up. Tony Kukoc laying it in. Kukoc with a big game. He has 12 points, eight assists. And four rebounds. Fine all-round effort by Tony Kukoc. Eddie Jones now guarded, goes right around Kukoc and is fouled. Good quickness by Eddie Jones, who, hampered by foul trouble, has scored only two points tonight. That's just a, a very quick move here by Eddie Jones. He's a, a, an excellent slasher, and he loves to take it strong to the basket. Tonight, there's been a good thing of strategy, Dick. Any time that Chicago has gotten a major mismatch, just like the last field goal, Rooks picked up Tony Kukoc. Kukoc right off the dribble, right to the rim. Well, Michael Jordan with his third foul, and Eddie Jones, who was the player of the month in November, now back in the swing after a slight dip. He scored 32 against Minnesota last night. And uh, tonight, because of foul trouble, not doing much. Only one of seven from the field. Three points for Eddie Jones. Under five minutes remaining in the third quarter. 73-51, the Bulls. Dennis Rodman fouled, and he'll shoot two. Well, you can see what the strategy is right now. The Bulls are coming down the floor. They're spreading out. They have three guys right across the half court. Two guys outside of the lane. And they're saying, right now, we are going to take advantage of your bad matchup. And your bad matchup is whoever Rooks is playing. And that's the guy they take off the dribble, they force you to rotate, and they find the free guy. Dennis Rodman, scoreless against the Phoenix Suns, but 21 rebounds in their last game. Gets his first point and gets a, a cheer from the crowd. So he will not get shut out again tonight. Well, the big thing is he came into this game and was shooting 36%. And, you know, Dennis usually does a halfway decent job on his foul shots. He's usually somewhere in the 50s. The lead is 13. 23, I should say. 13, we have the Lakers excited. Corey Blunt feeding. 
Eddie Jones getting the assist, and it is 74 to 53, four and a half to go here in the third quarter. Randy Brown in there along with Ron Harper, guard. Michael Jordan, in effect, the third guard with two coach and Dennis Rodney. Michael Jordan, rebound Van Exel. Lakers, highest scoring team in the NBA, but not tonight as Nick Van Exel now in double figure. Well, you're looking at a starting unit that is so high-powered. Five guys in double figures. And tonight, they just cannot throw it in the ocean. They're still shooting below 30% as a unit. Well, this game, the uh, Drew Build is a fine offensive team against one of the top defensive teams in the league. And the D is winning. Randy Brown misses the jumper. Yes, and uh, you say, hey, that's why you can see teams only shoot 41% for the game against Chicago. Second best in the league. Van Exel from Rook to Corey Blunt, and that is the best ball movement we've seen from the Lakers tonight. Well, with this unit, everything is off the dribble unless they go to Rooks in, on an occasional post-up. What they're trying to do is take you off the dribble, force you to double, find the free people. Randy Brown with a personal foul. And here is Corey Blunt, who's done a great job off the glass. Friday night, the Philadelphia 76ers and Allen Iverson against the Miami Heat on TNT. Next Tuesday, Hubie and I will be at the Fleet Center as the Hornets and Celtics go out of Dave Powers coaching against his former team, with Pacino doing a great job. Boston one game under 500. The Heat and Pistons next Friday. So we'll feature a little bit of the Heat. There's Eldon Campbell on the bench with 15 right now. 18-point Bulls lead as we have less than three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Jordan guarded by Kobe Bryant. See what he does against the youngster. Off balance. Missed the tip. Rodman almost tipped it in. And here come the Lakers. Kobe Bryant going oh, to the hoop. Kobe Bryant, whose father, Joe Jellybean Bryant, played in the NBA. So he was well-schooled in this league when he came aboard. Dick, he was behind the three-point line on the catch. One bounce, and he was up and in the rim. Remember a few guys that did this initially? Oh, come on. Well, the guy right now with the basketball, he's not bad at it still. As an old time. Yeah, right. <laughs> and Kobe Bryant blocking Randy Brown into the hands of Nick Van Exel. Have to be careful here. Now you give him one. Van Exel misses. And Rodman the rebound. Kobe Bryant, though, has scored 14 points in 16 minutes. You get an example of how he could score in a hurry. A blocking foul is the call as Luko going to the hoop. Well, they come with this unit. They lull you to sleep. They run up and down like the summer league. And if you don't pay attention, they get right back in the game. The top, when Harper and Kukoc are scoring, which they are, and Jordan shoots over 50, Rodman gets his 15-plus rebounds. They are so tough to beat. Derek Fisher has come in at point guard defensively for the Lakers. Jason Caffey making his first appearance in the game. Jordan's fall away against the... Brian misses. Longley cleans up. So Luke Longley, 24 points. That is a career high. 22, that is, and he has uh, matched the career high. So two more, and he's got it. Here is Kobe Bryant. Into the hands of Michael Jordan. Under two minutes remaining in the third quarter. The both lead 76 to 58. And Harper hits, but the Lakers struggling with the people up front here. Yeah, Jones, Eddie Jones, Fox, and Ori in this game are two for 17. You can't get it done. Where are they going? Because they need those guys defensively to, to create the turnovers to get out in the open floor and their quickness and to be good three-point shooters. And Eddie Jones got into foul trouble. Kobe Bryant with 16 points. 78 to 60. Bill Bryant, who came in as the top bench scorer in the NBA at 17 plus a game. Harper with Jordan Longley Brown and Jason Caffey. And a good play by Eddie Jones over the top, knocking the ball away. Eddie Jones, one of the top defensive players in the NBA, one of the ranking leaders in steals, creates one there. Jones. 
Gets his own rebound, and Eddie Jones has it slapped away. And number six still has it. Goes one of nine from the field, now making one of ten. So Eddie Jones can't find it tonight. So on top of the front court, as you pointed out, not getting anything done. Their leading scorer with Shaq out of action. One for ten from the field. Under a half a minute remaining in the third quarter. Michael Jordan with the short jumper. 29 for MJ. Well, the difference between the two teams. One team is staying within what they run. They're getting nice high percentage shots. The Lakers on the other end. Everything is a strain. Everything is being challenged by Chicago. And you can see why teams cannot shoot the high percent. The Bulls are all over, and they're helping out, and they challenge you in the lane. Plus 37% shooting by the Lakers as Kobe Bryant goes to the line with 3.6 seconds remaining in the third. Ron Harper picking up his second foul. Maybe people are curious as to why Kobe Bryant's name is called Kobe. Well, his father, Joe Bryant, played in Italy and loved Kobe beef, which is the really special steak that you get over in Japan. So he decided... I'm sure with his wife's blessing to name his son Kobe after Kobe beef better than being called uh, sirloin <laughs> take it easy on me kid no I'm not even touching that. are you kidding me <laughs> there you see the Lakers bench still doing a good job tonight the, the starters have not but the bench has come in and been effective Randy Brown at the buzzer misses and that is the end of the third quarter. Luke Longley tying a career high with 22 points. Michael Jordan, however, leads everybody with 29. And after three, the Chicago Bulls lead the L.A. Lakers by a score of 80 to 61. The playoffs, you, you have 12 legitimate teams trying for eight spots. Now at the end of three, Chicago shooting 48%, L.A. 37. L.A. only two for 13 and three. Three throws are a wash, but the battle of the board, Chicago by a plus 12. Rick Fox with Sean Rook, Kobe Bryant, Corey Blunt, and Derek Fisher in a steal by Randy Brown. And on the crossover, he is fouled before the shot. And the foul is against uh, Kobe Bryant. He has four. So Eddie Jones and Kobe Bryant, the two shooting guards tonight, each with four personal fouls. Well, with this group out there, uh, you know, with Burwell and Brown, they are two very, very quick defenders. Longley, Cappy, out there along with Ron Harper in an offensive foul against uh, Luke Longley. Good call. That's that guard around. That's Luke Longley's fourth. When he caught the ball, he turned and gave a back screen. Now, you know, they're taught to do that. Now, just keep an eye on this. Now, just watch the back screen. See, as he turns, he screens, but it was too quick. You got to give the player a one step, one step there. So it was an excellent call. Kobe Bryant picked up by Ron Harper. Lakers trying to make a run without their starting guards. Man, excellent Jones in there, and Rick Fox banks it in. So only the second basket by the forward. Two of eight for Fox. And Fox came in on fire. He, you know, he's been really scoring a lot of points lately, averaging about 18 a game. And uh, you thought that maybe, you know, he was feeling, feeling that he belongs in that offensive flow. Sean Rooks inside against uh, Luke Longley will send him Longley to the line. Fox, by the way, coming off a 30-point game against the Houston Rockets. There is Eddie Jones. It hasn't been his night. Three points, four personal fouls. As the Chicago Bulls making a statement against the Lakers here. They'll meet again February 1st at the Great Western Forum. And there are many people who think the Lakers and Bulls will meet in the NBA Finals come June. Of course, you talk to the people in Seattle and some of the other contenders in the East. They have other thoughts. Longley with a career high now of 23 points. And on the turnover, Ron Harper. 
The Bulls are not a blazing fast break type of team. They'd rather loaf, and then they find their people with a couple of passes. It's not usually a guy dribbling and a one pass in a layup. Happy, open, and hit. Jason Cappy coming off a season's high 18 points and 18 rebounds against Phoenix. And they're doing the job with Rodman off the boards in that last game. Yeah, and he was rewarded by not playing in the first half. Okay. <laughs> he wants more playing time. Phil Jackson said, sorry, you're just not going to get it with this rotation. How many times he scored over uh, 50 points a game? Kobe Bryant up and under and fouled by Luke Longley as the Jordan is uh, guarding Kobe Bryant. Five personal fouls on Luke Longley, who has established a career high for points tonight. Well, this is just a strong move by Kobe. You can see uh, when he's out on the floor, he has the instincts and the ability, the athletic talent, to always get off a shot. No matter what, whether he's open, whether he's in traffic, and then to be able to draw the a foul in order to possibly be a potential three-point scorer in the lane. Joe Klein will come in for Luke Longley. Joe Klein added to the Bulls this year, 13th year out of Arkansas, well-traveled, but a good man to have as an extra big man. He replaces Longley, who goes out with 23 points. Kobe Bryant, in 21 minutes, has scored 19 points tonight. 18-point bull lead. With the Lakers, you're saying, hey, there's 10 minutes to go. You're not giving up. You're just saying we need some stops or some turnovers. No stop there. 31 for Michael Jordan. Chicago Bulls destined to exceed their offensive output. So there's no question that the way it's going, that the Bulls style with the defense and the technical. And the technical against the Robert Ory. At least he's got something in his column. He has no points and no personal fouls, and now picks up the team. Well, it's interesting because, as you know, he's added 15 pounds this year in building up his body. And if he, he's ranked 21st in steals, 36th in rebounds, 17 in blocks. He's doing everything from a defensive standpoint for the Lakers. But when we, we go back when he was with Houston, when they won the rings, he was a perimeter scorer rebounder shot blocker he was a big three-point shooter and a big scorer like 14 15 points a game not much of an offensive threat similar to what ron harper was more of an offensive player before he came to chicago kind of regained that again and an offensive foul is the call yeah that time uh, uh, yeah michael was being roughed up in the post there by brian mike and michael had to put an elbow into his chest there Four personal fouls on Michael Jordan, who has 32 points in the game. Many of them from the free throw strike. Kobe Bryant with a fall away, and Jason Caffey the rebound. Chicago Bulls trying to make it three in a row against the L.A. Lakers. Trying to let the Lakers know that uh, despite their 14 and 9 record struggling on the road, this team hasn't given up its bid for yet another world title, and they know they get Scottie Pippen back in January. Nick Van Exel gets it to Rick Fox. Fox working against Scott Burrell, who gets a piece of it. Good defensive play by Burrell, out of bounds, last touch by the Lakers. Yeah, that's another an indication of what we're talking about. This team has not given up anything defensively. They are all over the Lakers. They've met the challenge for every minute that we have played here this evening, but this is how they play defense most nights. Michael Jordan gets two more, 34 for Jordan, and the Bulls playing on both ends as if this, as if this score were tied. Not a 23-point lead. Bryant, and here is Robert Orley from outside. Elvin Campbell in the game, follows with the jumper, and Scott Burrell the rebound. This is a good old-fashioned whipping that the Lakers are getting tonight at the hands of the world champ. Klein with his first shot. Elvin Campbell has it slapped away by Jordan. Love the way the Bulls have not given an inch, even with their big lead most of the game. 
Jordan tried to get it inside, but the Lakers get it back. Here is Kobe Bryant with a reverse layup. Beautiful. Great move by Kobe Bryant. See, he has the vision in that move to see that the guy was coming for the shot block. And all he did was continue in the air and come up on the other side and use the rim. 21 points for Kobe Bryant. Seven on the shot clock, and Burrell is fouled by Rick Fox. Let's see Kobe in action again. Now just watch as the defender comes right into your picture, right there for the shot clock. Just the presence to stay within the shot, don't force it, float underneath and finish. I mentioned how he got his first name, Kobe. <laughs> Look at the impact tonight. 23 minutes, 21 points to lead the team, and he has nearly half of the Lakers second half point a 26 nothing to shout about little advice from the master right here well the one thing about him is that uh, sure the Lakers call him showboat showtime they they kid him uh, about the fact that he's a highlight film but there is not one person who doesn't think he's going to be the superstar of the future and everyone likes the fact that he has humility and that he asks for advice right. from legendary players, from coaches, and he's a very well-mannered, and he talks to everyone. He was brought up well. Absolutely. Plus, he comes in with college board scores of 1,080, could have attended any university in the United States, and uh, you kind of like it. He's got the total package. I bet you Michael Jordan was saying, Kobe, why didn't you go to North Carolina <laughs> instead of coming into the league and played a couple of years there? Eddie Jones is short. Then he would have said, well, I wouldn't have played for Dean Smith this year. There you go. But Bill Guthridge is doing a great job. This he season. sure is. Here is Cappy. And Burrell keeps it alive. Burrell active, making the most of his playing time in the second half. Jordan looking for room and hits the jumper. 36 points now for Michael Jordan, coming off a big game against Phoenix on Monday night of 31. Joe Klein gets the rebound, uh, and here's Randy Brown with Kobe back. Great pass behind his back. Spectacular passing inside, and it will be last touched by the Bulls. And a timeout call. Del Harris allowed his starters to stay out on the floor. He was looking for a run. He did not get it six minutes to go. Now you can see the rebounding has just been a total mismatch in favor of Chicago. But we said at the top of the show, Chicago is not shooting well in any category. Field goals, threes, or the foul line. But they beat you with defense and rebounding. And they're showing it and proving it to us tonight. Well, it'll be interesting to see whether the Lakers are held to their season low, which is 84 points when they were beaten at home. By the Cleveland Cavaliers, 94-84. They've got 67 right now. Eddie Jones off the rim out of bounds. And it is still Lakers ball. Now they have Eddie Jones and Ori still in there, but they've come uh, with the rest of the uh, guys are substitutes. And then also, Phil Jackson has put in his second unit out there, except for Harper. Steve Kerr, Jason Caffey. Morell has been in there with Klein and a jump ball coming up. The Bulls shooting 49%. The Lakers only 34% from the field, and it's been that way throughout the game. Steady. The numbers haven't changed much from the first quarter till now. The reason why this is such a big win for Chicago is the fact that they are only 7-7 seven and seven versus teams that are over 500, playing better than 500 basketball. They have struggled against the good team. That's why this is big, and, and they're looking good doing it. An adjustment with the clock, that's why we had the whistle. The 24-second clock did not budge, so we will adjust it. Now, Scott Perrell came to Chicago in a trade with Golden State for Dickie Simpkins and a draft pick, but he has struggled here. Now, we're talking about a player who has really made a major contribution when he was at Charlotte and still scored points at Golden State. And uh, he's a three-point shooter, he's a slasher, but in this triangle offense, he's definitely struggling. He's not giving them the points, but he gives them defense, rebounding, and he gets to the loose balls. Ron Harper beating Jason Caffey, who puts it through. 
Goran Burrell, he was a star in the Big East at the University of Connecticut and turned down a baseball career as a pitcher. Well, he was a first-round draft pick in baseball, first-round draft pick in basketball. Toronto Blue Jays, I believe, with the team that drafted him first. Corey Blunt, Ori. Loose ball underneath, and Corey Blunt with the lay-in. 94 to 69 with under five minutes remaining. And Burrell on the layup. You I want to ask you about the Bulls. Three men in double figures is what they normally have. When Pippen comes back, are they going to really have more shots for other people and have more people in action as they do now offensively? No, I think what will happen, Dick, they will go right back to Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Tony Kukoc, are their main scorers, their main shot attempt guys. The guy that will suffer will be Luke Longley. And he has stepped up big and has played well without Pippen in there. He has stepped in, he's shooting a high percentage, and he's given them the, you know, he's not giving them night in and night out the Pippen numbers, of course not, because he doesn't get a lot of freebies out on the break and he's not a three-point shooter. But it's just nice to see them finally pass the ball to a center in the triangle offense and give him shot attempts. Mario Bennett, who is the 12th man on this uh, roster, is into the game right now. Bennett, who sat out all of last year, has had two new knee operations. Well, he's out of the University of Arizona, played in the uh, CBA for two different teams, and he's just feeling that this is the first time that he has not had pain in his knees since he came out of college. Reflects the ball out to Kerr with two on the shot clock. Steve Kerr and the clock, shot clock expires. And Judd Bushler, who got the layup uh, for the final points of the first half, has come into the game replacing Ron Harper. Harper going out tonight, having scored nine points. Michael Jordan, of course, uh, getting the rest. Well deserved. He scored 36 points. Luke Longley also on the bench after establishing a career high of 23. Kobe Bryant with his second three-point basket now with 24 points. Bryant coming off some big games. 27 against Houston Friday. Topping it with 30 against the Dallas Mavericks Sunday. There's Joe Klein in the low post with the 336 remaining. Turn it over to the Lakers, and here's Bryant. Wow! Let's get the slam dunk back into the All-Star game after that one, huh? I tell you, that was impressive. That was impressive. <laughs> He's impressive. <laughs> you know Michael Jordan is impressed with that. Well, every time that he gets an opportunity from here to the end of the game, he's going to try something. Now, he's made a three, and then that whirlwind wind uh, There yeah. you go. 23 now. 26, I should say, for Kobe Bryant. Happy stuff it through as we wind down with three minutes to go in the game. 98 to 74, the Chicago Bulls on their way to a very impressive victory over the LA Lakers. People wondering whether uh, this is going to be uh, a sign of the future with the Lakers, the future, the Bulls, the past. Hold the phone. Here's John Barry on the turnover. And he is fouled. Well, John carried that one too far. He should have laid it up on the right side of the rim. Now, this is just, uh, Brian, now just keep an eye on this as he elevates up. That's spectacular. We will not have the slam dunk contest in the All-Star game this year. As, uh, I've probably seen its better days. You look at the Lakers, Dick, you made an interesting point a few minutes ago, and that is that the Lakers are a very young team. They have no player over 29 years of age. Elton Campbell is the oldest player at 29. And when you think that when they get Shaq back, the young basketball team is going to be together for a while, and you hope that management can lock them all in and allow them to grow. Jerry West. Won't find a better general manager in the game than Jerry West of the Lakers. Now he's proved it year in and year out. Joe Klein on a turnaround. 100 to 76 with 208 to go. First points of the game for Joe Klein. Kobe Bryant fires and hits a three by Bryant. He's got 29 points and he is one point away from his season's high. He's done it in 27 minutes. 
Mario Bennett on the steal. And Kobe Bryant gives it back to Mario Bennett. That was significant, Hubie. Yeah, it was. And a uh, nice shot block there by Burrell. Oh, you can see uh, this young man is, is gifted. He's got it all. John Barry rebound on Klein Smith. Minute and a half to go. And they go the other way. Pappy will get the easy stuff. 102 to 79. Eldon Campbell, the elder statesman, as you pointed out, watching things. He scored 15 tonight. Coming up next. Scores and highlights. Craig Sager with a sit down with Laker guard Nick Van Exel tonight. And Exel scoring over 11, only 11 with 1 3. But he has had a uh, glorious season thus far, as has Eddie Jones. But tonight, none of the starters really came through the way Del Harris would have wanted. Kathy with another chance adds to the Bulls' lead. Well, you know. Dick, uh, they go into the Lions then on Friday yes, night. They do. The Lakers go down to Atlanta on Friday, and then they move to Charlotte on Saturday, a day off, and then they move to Houston before getting home. So they've got three big games left there on the strip. They do. They felt uh, pretty good about themselves winning the opener against the Timberwolves, but things uh, moving up in class tonight. And now the Lakers will be one and one on this road trip, and eight and five on the road overall. And our butt player of the game is uh, getting a good rest. All he did tonight, 36 points, 12 of 22 from the field, and 11 of 12 from the line. And I'm sure that uh, both Eddie Jones and Kobe Bryant took note, although Bryant with a 26-point effort in his own right. Brian Burwell, by the way, will be out to interview Michael Jordan after this game is over. It'll be interesting to see what he thinks of uh, Kobe Bryant and what he thinks of the impressive Bulls effort tonight including his own well the second half drive in the East is going to be some showtime uh, Alonzo Mourning will be back now uh, with Miami uh, we'll see what happens with that ball club uh, we have uh, Scotty Pippen hopefully back New York has always, has always got to notice New York. That's right. Indiana and Cleveland playing excellent basketball. Cleveland Charlotte. doing it with four rookies out of their first six players. Charlotte, they've got firepower. Absolutely. This is a dynamite, dynamite Eastern Conference. And the dynamite player at 19 years of age, Kobe Bryant, now with 32 points. And that is a season's high for him. So he has gone up the ladder in the last three games. 27 Friday against the Rockets, 30 Sunday against the Mavericks, and uh, he's got 33 points tonight against the Chicago Bulls. And, you know, I, I read a piece in a, in a clip. Someone says, yeah, but you know what? He doesn't post up. <laughs> you know and, you know, he, I said, what are you kidding? He, he, doesn't, he, yeah. he doesn't ski with one ski either. Yeah, there you go. I mean, uh, this young guy's got a three-point game. What he doesn't do. You name it, he can do it. Game is over, and the Chicago Bulls send a message to the L.A. Lakers, although Kobe Bryant has sent a message to everyone else that he is the future. Michael Jordan with 36 to lead the Bulls. Kobe Bryant with 33 to top the Lakers. The final score, the Chicago Bulls 104.